I grew up in St. Louis and I was raised in South St. Louis in a neighborhood with big families. And my older brother, Tom, um, was a special needs child. And I had friends who had siblings that either had some form of uh, developmental disability, uh, mental retardation, or uh, mental illness. So I always had a special place in my heart growing up with compassion, understanding what it was like to be exposed and be around people that had special needs and it it's, uh, was with me then and it's still with me today. Every other week I welcome groups of new employees to BJC. It's a great opportunity for me to begin to help uh, kick the stigma, if you will, to stand in front of groups of employees, welcome them to the organization, mindful that they may be unknowledgeable of the folks that live with a serious mental illness and to do what I can in that moment to talk about mental illness. Part of my job is to oversee a clubhouse in Farmington, Missouri. And we refer to that as a Friends in Action Clubhouse. And it's just like the Independence Center, but on a smaller scale in a different community. One of our members told a story of her life and how at a very young age, less than five, um, she was exposed to sexual abuse. And it began a pattern of more abuse, sexual, physical, and other led to bad choices in her life, broken home, uh, a migration into substance abuse. Fast forward from age three to late 50s, and with the help of resources like the Friends in Action Clubhouse and resulting in um, happiness and gainful employment. Um, it's a profound, real story. And to hear it in the voice of the person who tells their story of this journey to recovery over 50 plus years, I just can't forget that. When we do good work in our clubhouses, we actually help people with living with mental illness stay out of our emergency rooms, stay out of inpatient settings, gain stable housing, perhaps seek employment, stay away from getting in trouble with the law, avoid using and abusing substances. These are all great outcomes.